All right. So happy Monday. Let's get started. Good. So come to your mat. <sighs> Take a few nice wiggly moves and start to get your breath going here. And then we'll come to a nice mountain pose on our mats. So lining things up, especially when we want to um, think about balance, we want to make sure that we're standing squarely on all four corners of the feet, okay? So this is kind of interesting. Now your, your feet are hip width distance, stand on all four corners of your feet, Take a breath here. And feel how that feels balancing side to side. Now go ahead and take your feet side by side and see if you feel more stable or not quite as stable when your feet are touching here. How's your base of support? And then take your feet slightly wider than hip width distance and see how you feel here. So we're just making some observations, right, about how our balance might change based on what the, what the feet are doing, the distance between the feet, right? All right, so come back. And so since we want to work a little extra on balance, let's work with the feet together for now. Even if it feels a little uh, less stable than having the feet hip width distance apart, okay? Grounding into the mat and we breathe. And allowing the breath to just naturally deepen and start moving through the various energy centers of the body, just opening things up, waking things up. And adding some arms here. So with the palms out, inhale, keep the shoulders away from the ears and lift your arms as high as works for you right now. Touch your palms and bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that a couple more times. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to heart. And the next time your hands come to your heart, just stay here for a moment and notice your legs. And perhaps you might feel that they're working a little um, harder to uh, keep you upright when your feet are touching here. Okay, so let's take the feet now hip width distance apart and start to release stuff. So knees and hips bend. Oh, we're just releasing for a moment here. Even slightly wider than hip width distance if that feels better to you. We're going to start to move into standing cats and cows. All right. So taking the arms out by your side and letting the knees and hips participate, draw the fingertips to touch and then open wide through the shoulders. So we're really getting the body nice and open and moving this morning. Starting our week. And as we move through our practice, every once in a while, Think about those feet. What are they doing? Are they grounded? And the next time your fingertips touch, just hold here. Bring your palms to touch. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, hands down by your side. All right, so let's take the feet now wider than hip width distance with the toes facing out. And we're going to just let the knees bend and st uh, straighten a few times, okay? Sending the knees over the toes here. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to take the right arm up and just tilt to the left. And
and come back, left arm up, and tilt to the right, and come up. Okay, let's take the right arm up, bend the knees, tilt to the left, and straighten the legs as you come up. Take the left arm up, bend the knees, tilt to the right, straighten the legs as you come up. Right arm, tilt, straighten to come up. Left arm, tilt, straighten to come up. Right arm, tilt, straighten to come up. We're reaching straight for the sky. Left arm, tilt, straighten, reach up. Right arm, tilt, straighten, and down, left arm, tilt, straighten, and down. We're going to go back over to the left, so take your right arm up, bend the knees, tilt to the left. Now float your left arm up, and straighten the legs as you bring both arms up. Okay, we're going left arm, tilt, with the knees bent, stay here, right arm up, Straighten the legs as you bring both arms up. Good, and release, shake it out. All right, so from here, we're going to start rotating the spine. So the feet are still out, if that's a comfortable distance for you. If you wanna go a little wider, bend the knees, hands come to the heart here, and we gently turn toward the right. Now turn again and extend the arms. Come back to center, turn toward the left, and extend. Okay, we're warming it up, so keep it gentle. Right and release. Left and release. Right and release. Left and release. Good. Right and release. Left and release. Right and release. Yes, left and release. All right, now just bring it up, straighten the legs, shake things out, inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to be doing a little bit of folding forward and lifting to start working on balance. So let's just kind of lift the heels in place with the feet hip width distance apart here. Just to start rolling through the feet, get that movement going here, okay? And now, Coming to hip width distance apart, finding mountain pose. Inhale, float your arms up. And with soft knees and hips, folding from the hip creases, keeping the spine long, just bring your hands to wherever they want to touch right now and take it up, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're folding down, letting everything just move and bring it up. Now let's add a heel to this. So take it down, where, however far you're going, right heel up. As we straighten, reach toward the sky, take it down. Left heel up, straighten, reach toward the sky. Here's the tricky one, two heels. Keep your ankles nice and steady here. And if they start to wobble, bring your heels down. We don't wanna do anything to the ankles. Take it down. We're gonna go right heel or knee. And down, left heel or knee. And down and take it to double. If you're going there. And just keep going right, left, double, or just right, left, right, left. It could be heel, it could be knee, it could be a combination. Putting ourselves in and out of balance repeatedly. Good. And we're, whenever you finish your round, so if it's right, left, or if it's with the double, just go ahead and finish up your round. Come back to mountain pose when you're ready. Feel your breath moving. All right, let's take those feet together again and see how this feels balance wise. Okay, and 
shake things out. We're going to start working our way down. So come to the top of your mat. Make sure you know you have your knee padding uh, ready if that's something that you use. Okay. Um, how many blocks do you guys have? Hold up one or two. I know everybody has at least one block. Okay. You have two, Kathy, you're signaling. <laughs> Becky, you're, you're just switching. I'm today, but I have two. Great, all right. Let's have the two blocks at the top of the mat, then we'll do some extra hamstring and uh, psoas stretching, front hip flexor. So have your two blocks with, uh, nearby. We'll use them uh, after our sun salutation, okay? And make sure you have your uh, good for your knees, all right? So let's go ahead, find mountain pose at the top of your mat, feel your energy, inhale, float the arms up, exhale, swan dive over those hip creases. As always, we're not looking for how deep we're going, we're looking for how long we can go. And then bring the hands to the thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward. Sink the, uh, sink the hips, bend the knees, bring the hands to the mat, and find your way to downward facing dog. So we're really going to work the feet in this dog and the calves here as you press your heel down. And just start to loosen those things up, the toes, everything here. Of course, if you're doing dog at the wall, you can be doing the same exact thing with your feet. Press one heel down and hold. Press the other heel down and hold. Now come back to your down dog and we're try going to try and get the knees to the mat at the exact same moment. So bend the knees, take it down. All right, and while we're here, come into your tabletop pose and let's work on the opposite arm, opposite leg balance. So we're going to, without moving, the, without opening through the hips, the hips stay straight. Let's take the right leg up to hip height, square off the hips. So this happens a lot when you raise one leg, the hip wants to open. So keep the hips square, flex your back foot, point the toes down toward the earth. Okay, you're now in three point balance from a four point. Now let's take it to two point, left arm up by the ear. Yes, uh huh. Good, nice bird dog. And bring the hand and knee down, trying to touch at the same time. Good. So now let's do that left leg, right arm. Left leg, make sure the hips are square. Flex the back foot. Float the right arm up. Where's your gaze? Your gaze is about um, kind of straight down, maybe a little forward, but you're definitely not looking up, right? The neck is not bent up here. This whole spine is in neutral. Bring your hand and knee down, try to touch at the same time. All right, we're gonna do that one more time on each side. So just float into it. Right leg, left arm, float it up. Yes, check your position now as you breathe. Are the hips square? Is the spine long? Is the head in a natural line with the spine? Yes, and bringing the hand and knee down to touch at the same time. Yep, then left leg, right arm. Floating up. Checking position. Breathing calmly. And hand and knee touch at the same time. Sit off to the side. All right, and let's find seated mountain pose. So equal seated here. Okay, and the feet are flexed, just as though we were still standing on the earth. Take a couple of breaths. Okay, 
Okay, let's shake things out. So of course we know we love to have a strong core for balance. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And since we have our blocks nearby, have it super nearby. Okay, we're gonna try something with the blocks today. Well, with one block anyway. Alrighty, so let's have the feet hip width distance apart and the knees bent. Take the arms forward and lean back. Okay, so we're going to stay here, inhale and exhale. Okay. And now that we're in this position, we're going to keep this position and take the arms open. Feel your core kick in as you open your arms. Bring it back and then take the arms up and down. We'll add a leg, take it open, right leg up, right foot down, arms forward, take the arms up, right leg up, and bring the right foot down. Take it open, left leg up, bring it down, take it arms up, and bring it down, take it open, right, we're going to go through that one more time. Up, arms, and up. Can you feel the challenge of going super slow? Take it out, left, take it down, arms overhead, take it down, Woo, sit up and shake it out. All right, so let's go ahead and um, since we have the block nearby, take the block this way, put it in between your hands, okay? We're going to take it back to that core engagement point. We can't really open our arms for this because we would drop the block. So what we're going to do is take it back, arms overhead, and just see how it feels when the block is stabilizing the arms for us and keeping them the same distance. Take it forward, take it up. It might feel exactly the same to you. It might feel more challenging might feel easier. We're just observing. We're not forcing and we're not judging. And one more time, up, forward, and release. Okay, so raise your block if it felt more challenging for you. I'm on the challenge side, yeah, okay. And raise your block if it felt the same to you. Seemed like it was more challenging for most, yeah, that definitely. All right, so let's uh, work on the um, obliques a bit here now with that. Keep the block nearby, okay? Feet are hip width distance, arms are forward, take your palms to touch. Now lean back to your core engagement point, take both hands to the right, outside of the right leg, come up. Take it through center, come up outside the left leg. So we're just smoothly moving side to side. This is what it looks like from the front. Oh yeah. All right, next time you go left, finish up. Guess where we're gonna put the block now? Not between the hands, we're gonna put it between the thighs. And we're gonna try our best not to drop it, okay? All right, so let's put the hands together Take it back and up. Take it to the left. So we're still doing the same thing, just smoothly moving right to left. So we're training the legs to stay steady when we use the block, right? Sometimes we use the block in bridge or for standing poses. This is a training the legs not to like flop open in or bang together. Yeah. All right, I'll stop talking in a moment. The next time you go left, woo, we'll be even. Ah, oh, shake it out. Inhale and exhale. Now that we've trained the legs, right? We're just gonna do that with the block in between the hands. We're gonna see if we can keep our thighs from knocking together or opening, right, the knees and we're just gonna see what it feels like to do it with the hands, okay? And then we'll be done with core, this part of the core. Okay, take it back and over to the right and over to the left. Are your legs
legs staying steady because you just trained them. The arms, the hands have to engage around, around the block so that the block doesn't fall. The next time you go to the left, oh, you'll be done. Come back to center, put everything down, shake it out. Inhale and exhale. All right, so go ahead and take your feet, um, uh, bend into a little Baddha Konasana, not a very deep one, because we haven't really worked anything there, but kind of an elongated Baddha Konasana, fold over your hip creases. Actually, I'm in garland, see how my feet are apart? You might feel okay with your feet together. You might feel better with the feet apart. Just play with it. Release. Legs together. Shake it out. And what better way to celebrate the first class of our new season than with the crowd favorite water wheel. So let's go ahead and do water. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. After that core series, I think we deserve a little bit of water wheel. Take it down. Oh. All right, your spine is resting on the mat. Inhale and exhale. Okay. If you ever feel like your chin is just jutting up to the ceiling and you're cranking your neck, feel free to put something to elevate the head a little bit here, okay? All right, so it could be a small towel. Um, it could be your hands. Now let's go ahead, water wheel on the right knee, in point up, flex down. All right, knee in and hold, we're going to reverse, flex out, point up, Knee in, we're still on the right. Reverse water wheel. And the next time your right knee is in, hold it in, hold on to your shin or your hamstring. Plant that left foot. Feel all four corners of the left foot. Feel that left thigh engage as though it were trying to hold a block, okay? Because we don't want the left foot to flop open while, the left leg to flop open while we're doing this. We want that left leg to stay right where it is, the torso right where it is, and let the right leg open out to the right and back. And then bring the right leg back to center. Take your left hand outside your right thigh, right arm out by your shoulder. And let that left leg straighten any amount. If it doesn't want to straighten at all, that's fine too. Take your right knee just past the belly button. Your hips are still on the mat, both of them. Now we're going to make sure the right shoulder stays on the mat. Take your right knee over to the left. The right hip lifts, but the right shoulder stays in, on the mat. And take your gaze past your right fingertips. And then come back around, flex your right foot, draw it, draw it across your left thigh, and come into pigeon with the right foot flexed. And let's go ahead and just hold on to the back of the left leg for a moment and let the hips move side to side. So by holding on to the back of the left thigh, we're keeping the right leg close to the chest. All right, and then release everything, unwind, let the knees gently open and close. 
Okay, hands down by your side, unless they're under supporting your head. Okay, and let's go water wheel on the left knee, in point up, flex down. And the next time the left knee is in, hold it, flex your left foot, and reverse your water wheel. The next time the left knee comes in, hold it in, holding the shin or the thigh. Ground that right foot, stabilize the right leg. Remember the right thigh now is going to feel like it's pressing in toward a block to keep the block from falling and take your left leg out to the side and back. So we're trying to just isolate the movement just to the left hip here. Well, the left leg. And of course the left arm is going along for the ride because it's holding the leg. All right, take it back to center here. Extend that right leg any amount. Take your right hand outside your left leg, left arm out to the side, hips stay right where they are, left knee comes just past the belly button. Now the left shoulder stays on the mat as the left knee comes over to the right and the gaze goes to the left. And then come back through center, flex the left foot, draw the left ankle across the thigh, hold on to your right hamstring, your right leg somewhere, and let those legs move around. So whatever range of motion they have as you're holding on to your right hamstring. All right, let's release, unwind, bring two feet to the mat, let the knees open and close. And come to tabletop. Alright. So we just did a whole lot of hip opening. We're going to strengthen the arms now. So come into a knee down plank. It could be knee up, all right, or wherever you're feeling it right now. And bending at the elbows, push up, heels toward hips. We're going to add on to the push ups here. So take it back, knees up or down, push up twice, one, two, and now take your hips toward your heels. Should we go for three? This will be our last time. And it's one push up, two, three, and take it to child's pose. Head is supported in child's pose. Okay. Maybe the hands want to come back at this point. Maybe the arms. Feel better long, you decide. All right, so we're going to um, come into a nice four point down dog here. Make your way to down dog. And then take a nice journey any way you want to get your feet to your hands. Take a half lift when you get here. Forward fold, straighten the legs. Folding from the hip creases, spine is long. Ground those feet, feel super heavy in the lower body. Super light in the upper body as you float out and up, palms touch. 
hands come heart center. Stay here in mountain pose with Anjali Mudra, thinking about your feet. Okay, are the feet nice and square? Inhale and exhale. All right, release your arms, shake everything out. Okay, everybody good? Okay, all right. You can see everybody very well here. All right, we're going to do a basic sun salutation, and then we're going to use the blocks. So have the blocks near the top of your mat. Feet are hip width distance here. Find mountain pose. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over straight legs. You go where you're going. Keep the legs straight for the half lift, just to, to do it this way. Shine your heart forward. Now bend at the knees and hips, bring the hands down. Take the right leg back, enjoy that lunge. And find a plank, knees up or down. Yes, and nice strong chaturanga. Take it down. Good. All right, let's raise those hands three inches off the mat, shoulders toward the ears down the spine, elbows toward the waist as you come into a cobra. Hands free, yes, release. Find your way to th um, down dog. <laughs> let's call it that this morning. All right, get nice and balanced. Four points of balance in your down dog. And then float your right leg up to hip height. Just like we did in table, we want those hips to be square. We want the back foot flexed. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna try something. Go ahead and bring that right foot back down. Now bring your left hand to the fingertips. You can stay right here, or you might want to try floating your left fingertips up for just a second. Bring your left hand down, and then take a journey, feet to the hands. Straight leg half lift here, forward fold. Super heavy, lower half of the body, super light, upper half, float the arms out and up, palms touch and hands come heart center and release, shake it out. Okay, let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So the feet are hip width distance apart. Float the arms up, exhale, swan dive. Straight leg half lift, knees and hips bend, hands down, lunging back on the left this time. Enjoy that lunge. Left leg back, yes. There you go, if you choose to wiggle around in it. And then come into a plank. See some super strong planks here. Remember, knees up, knees down, doesn't matter. The uh, integrity of your spine is what matters. Nice, if you have your knees up, roll to the, there you go, roll to your toes, bend at the elbows, oh yeah. And let's do that hands-free cobra one more time. Bring it down. Find your way to down dog. Square everything off in your down dog. And then raise your left leg to hip height, flex the foot, toes point down. Okay, bring the left foot down and if you want to try lifting the right hand, bring the right hand to fingertips first, and then maybe float it up for a second if you think that'll work for you. And bring the hand down. Find your way to the top of your mat. Take any journey that feels fun to you. Straight leg, half lift when you get there. Forward fold. Grounded and light, lift up, float up, palms touch, hands come heart center. 
and shake it out. All right, so now we're going to use the blocks for um, hamstring stretch and front hip flexor stretch. So have your blocks, one on either side of your mat, okay? I'm going to leave my one that's uh, so you can see my feet for the time being. Okay, come to the top of your mat. Take a couple of breaths. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift. Bend everything back. Now step back with your right leg. Nice big lunge here. Bring your right knee down. Point the toes. Your left knee is over your ankle. Okay, the setup is important because we're going to be here for a while, so make sure you've got this setup. The right knee is way behind the hip. Turn your blocks to their third side, put your hands on the blocks, and then lean into the hip as you shine your heart forward. Remember, we're never throwing the head back to look up. Shine your heart forward. We feel that in the psoas, right? And the front hip flexor. Okay, now turn your block to the second side. Start to send your hips towards your right heel. And I'll just make my front block invisible right now. Take your left foot straight up. Where are you feeling this? Right, right through here, right? Okay, we're gonna come back. The blocks are now at their highest edge. We're coming back into that forward lunge, that very deep crescent lunge here, supported, so we can go deep with it, taking our time, and then come back into the hamstring stretch. Okay, if this is like not making your knees happy, you can do these moves standing, right? So just wave at me if you want me to demonstrate the standing version. Okay, bring it up and then bring your left leg back and your right leg forward and arrange yourself with the left knee way behind, the right knee over the right ankle, hands on the top of the blocks at their highest edge, leaning into it for that front hip flexor stretch, shine your heart forward. I just noticed something interesting. My right knee was kind of kicking out to the right. Make sure your right foot is square on all four corners. All right, that was me, but you know, it just uh, reminded me about my right foot. Okay, so let's take the blocks to their second edge. Raise your right toes, taking it into that hamstring stretch. Now take it forward, back into that lunge, sinking deep into the lunge. And back to hamstring stretch. Take it forward, bring your hands down, take your right leg back, and come into downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. And then just once again, journey feet to hands. Take a half lift, straight leg forward fold, grounding down to lift up, float the upper body up, palms touch. Hands come heart center. Let's see how it feels to be standing now. So we'll start with the feet hip width. We'll move to feet touching. It's actually in this, my toes are touching, my heels are apart, right? Because otherwise my feet would be in a 
outward facing position. Palms are forward. All right, let's take now the left leg in front of the right, crossing low on the leg, and woo, see how it feels to stand here now. Take the arms up. Bring them down. And try that with the right leg coming across now. So crossing. Try to square the feet. Take the arms up. So we automatically, when we're trying to balance, right, we automatically think gaze. Let me take a steady gaze. Bring the hands down. Woo. And unwind. Shake it out. Inhale and exhale. All right. So let's do, now that we've got... We've got all that. We're going to do a tree balance. So starting with the feet hip width distance, squaring, squaring everything off. And come on into, well, if you want to uh, just get a sense of where balance is right now, take your right heel up, standing straight on the left leg. Take the right knee out without turning the hips open. So, and then heel to the leg and maybe float it up. Gaze is steady, mind is calm, hands come to heart. And release. All right, other side, left heel, left knee, heel to leg or foot to leg. Right leg is nice and uh, straight, super strong, hands to heart, gaze is steady. And release. All right, so let's have some fun with the arms now. Instead of taking them up, we're going to cross and open them. So come to your tree on the right, open your arms, cross them, and open them. Okay, cross them. Don't worry about which hand is in front. A lot of times we do, but right now we're just standing. Cross and open and release. And I'll bet some of you were thinking, ah, I wanna open my leg too. We'll do that next. Let's try this on the left, just with the arms coming to your tree. Open the arms cross and open. So you're always going to stay with the one that feels the most right to you. Cross and open, cross, open, and come back to equal standing. Shake things out. All right, so as an option, we'll take the leg out when we open the arms. Come into your tree. Oh, we start with the arms out. Okay, let's cross. And this time when we open, maybe the leg. Cross and open. One more cross and open. Good. And release. Ooh, shake it out. We are training the body to know it can do lots of things. All right, here we go. Tree on the left arms out and one side might feel different than the other cross and open cross and open cross and open good and bring it back and release shake it out all right how's everybody doing we're ready to start wrapping things up here okay so we worked a lot on balance, um, and let's just go ahead and take a little uh, triangle series just to get back to that side body connection. So go ahead and take your legs wide here. Turn your right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle. Legs are staying straight. Arms are in line with the shoulders for triangle, right? And we reach to the right and release. So we're going to the right and release. Reach and release. Taking it to triangle now. Reach, reach, reach. 
right hand down, turn your palm out so you don't crunch into your leg. Left hand could be on your hips or left arm could be up. Take your gaze towards your right big toes. That right foot, is it square? Is the left foot square, connected to the earth? Take your gaze to center. Take your gaze up towards your left fingertips. Now take it, both arms parallel. Yeah. And come on up with the arms long. Bring your hands to your hips. Change the position of your feet. Squaring off the feet. Maybe they're starting to square automatically now. Or maybe you just have to remind them. Either way, arms are out. We go reach to the left and back. Reach left, come back. Reach left, come back. Reach, reach, reach. Left hand down with the palm face out. Right hand to your hip or up. The shoulders are stacked wherever you are. Take your gaze towards your right toes. Uh, those are your left, your left toes. Center and up towards your right hand. Good, now float the left arm up, right arm parallel, lift up. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn all 10 toes forward. Put your index fingers in your hip creases and with a long spine, start to come into where, however far you want to go in forward fold. Keep your feet grounded. That will help keep your hips over your ankles. If you start to throw your hips back, you'll feel more weight in your heels. If you start to fall forward, you'll feel more weight in the balls of your feet. So the feet are grounded. We come into forward fold. And from however high or low you are, Bring your hands to your legs. Maybe your fingertips touch the mat. And let's just move things around from here. So bend and wiggle. Nod the head, yes and no. From wherever you are. And then ending on a yes as you bring the head back to stillness. Bring the body back to stillness. Are the feet still square? Bring the feet back to square. Bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up, take a breath. Long spine, rest of the way up. And go ahead and find a way to get your feet together. Heel toe, shake things out, hop if you like. And as you move around and Feel into the body to see if anything else needs to release. Look around, see if there's something you want to have with you for final relaxation. Get any clutter that may have accumulated out of your way so final relaxation can be peaceful. Okay, And then when you're done, come to the top of your mat and find mountain pose. Breathing into your mountain pose. Okay, so one last time, let's go ahead and bring the big toes to touch for mountain pose. Feel into that. Trying to square the feet here. Bring the left leg across the right. Trying to square off the feet from here. Unwind and right across left. Just gathering whatever information is being given to us from assuming these different positions. Go ahead and come back to mountain pose and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Okay, so if you want to throw in a vinyasa here, if that's you, go ahead. Okay, float the arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive, straight legs. Take a straight leg half lift. Bend the knees and hips, bring the hands down. If you're going vinyasa, you're gonna go plank, chaturanga, back bend. Otherwise, we'll just step back to downward facing dog. 
Take a nice couple of breaths. Feel the balance. Two hands, two feet in your downward facing dog. And then if you want to come down at any point, you can. If you're still up, take your big toes to touch and knees to one side, hips to the other. Release if you're moving through a vinyasa, just come to down dog when you're done with that. And then we take everything back to center. We're going to once again try and get the knees to touch at the same time. Touch down and find seated mountain pose. Okay, so we want to be even on the sit bones. The spine is nice and long. Inhale and exhale. Good. And let's shake things up. All right, we're going to do a little uh, Janu Sarsasana here. So the left leg is long, the toes at um, the left toes and the left knee are facing straight up. The right foot comes to the right uh, left thigh or left calf. Okay, wherever it's more comfortable for you. Turn your body over uh, toward your left, so you're facing your left toes here. Inhale, float the arms up, and folding from those hip creases, reach long, keep gazing past your left toes, and then go ahead and cross at the wrists and hold on to your left leg wherever your wrists happen to land, okay? So you might be up at your thigh, down at your left calf, you might have your left foot if that's you today, but we want the spine long, we want the gaze past the toes. So don't do anything that makes you round your back just to reach farther forward. And let's breathe here. All right, remember the work we did for the hamstring? Can you feel that now? Can you feel the hamstring releasing? And then unwind the hands, come back up to seated, bring the hands down. Take your right leg straight, give your legs a crazy shake. Now the right leg is going to stay straight, knee and toe pointed up. Left foot comes to the right thigh or a more open position for the knee with the right foot on closer to the calf. Turn your body towards your right leg. Inhale the arms up, long spine, go as far as you're going, cross at the wrists and hang on keeping your gaze past your right toes here. Spine is long. Unwind the arms, lift up, hands down, straighten your left leg, give your legs a crazy shake, and let's roll down. Okay, inhale, lengthen the arms and legs. Exhale, draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. So take this now to happy baby and rock side to side. Give your spine a nice little massage here. And then come back to center. Have your hands down by your side and bring your feet to the mat. Take your right leg up, point and flex the right foot. Circle the ankle one direction and the other. Release the right foot down, left leg up, point and flex. Circle the ankle one direction and the other. And bring that left foot down. Just let those knees gently open and close, little butterfly wings. Take your arms long out from your sides now. 
bring your legs back up to center and extend through the fingers, wiggle them in. Extend and wiggle. You feel that energy of moving the fingers go all the way up the arms into the shoulders. Believe it or not, when you move your hands, you help your posture as well. Now take a gentle fist here, rotate the wrists one direction and the other. Bring the hands down and gently turn the head side to side. When you feel even, come back to center and then start to feel into your body. Take any final moves, do any final activity. And find your way into your final relaxation pose for today. When you get there, inhale through the nose and exhale, release your body onto the earth for final relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Bring movement back to your body, gently wiggling fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, stretch long. Exhaling, draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side. And coming up to a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice, and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.